Herman Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. Trail ends here. Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like, say. Where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> I thought this island was uninhabited. Well, you thought wrong. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh boy!
the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. What happened to your pants? What pants? Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No, I needed to get back my banana picker. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Boy, it sure is hot here. I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'll take this flint, too. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Flint works best with things made of steel.
Boy, it sure is hot here. To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrop. never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> It looks like someone put this here on purpose. Whoops. Tree. I'll just put it here. Mr. Toothrot. Please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The Cannibals. like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Boy, it sure is hot here.
I can paddle it with these oars. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes, although lately we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well... What do you have to say for yourself? Well, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck, we must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti-root. We realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. Looks loose. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals, for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, attorneys at law. Regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. 
sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. The banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. You're of no use to us, nutritionally speaking. But if you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We 
should take this to the great monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. My banana picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. But I can't seem to find them. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes. Me too. <laughs> I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms.
Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. And then LeChuck came and ruined everything, right? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find LeChuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without the... Hey! Ixnay on the Edhe of the Avigator Nay. W the what? Nothing. Nothing. What's the Edhe of the Avigator Nay? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs>